Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In my past video, we had seen a data analysis project in Excel. I talked about different types of data analysis such as univariate analysis, multivariate analysis and bivariate analysis. If you haven't watched the video, I'll leave a link in the description. You can take a look at that. In today's video, I'm going to be covering an end-to-end -end data analysis project using a generative AI tool without having to write a single line of code. So let's dive right into it. But before we get into it, do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics in Excel and Python. So let's get right into it. So I'm opening the tool. This is called Julius.ai. You can create a login and try it yourself. And I'm going to be using the same cast data set, which I have used in my previous Excel projects. So I'm going to be pasting this. I've also made another video on Julius.ai for a simple linear regression model relating to the simple linear regression which I did in Excel. I'll leave a link in the description in case you are interested in looking at that as well. So you can see it has loaded the data set. It will also give me insights on that. I can right click on each field and it will ask it. It will prompt me the questions like what questions uh, I I should ask of my data. So if I don't know my data or, or if I or if I'm new to data analysis, I can ask this question by just right clicking on any field. So if I click on the distribution or the average MPG, it will give me. I can click on the horsepower and I can see what are the distribution, what are the average horsepower, any summary statistics I can get of it. So if a novice person wants to do it, also can do. But I prepared the prompt. I'm going to paste the prompt here and let's walk through this prompt. Okay, so I've written basically the, the, the same steps that I've done in the Excel project. Where I want to, uh, where I'm saying I want to do an end-to-end -end data analysis. I'm talking about univariate analysis. I've given to the categorical variables. I'm talking about new uh, univariate analysis of numerical variables, and I've given it the numerical variables. Then I've asked it to do bivariate analysis of gears versus cylinder and gears versus carburetor. I've asked it to, uh, to do bivariate analysis of uh, of the numerical variables, and I've asked it to also do multivariate analysis. So I've asked it to also do it uh, in a step by manner. Let me give a, a give it a more clear instruction. Execute one step at a time with clear plots for each step. So let's see how this does. I'm going to be ex executing this live without any edit, so we can see if it encounters any problem. Generally, this tool understands and it tries to correct the problem itself. And let's see how it does. Okay. And, and the beauty about this is that it writes the code for you. You can copy the code and try it out yourself. And you can also modify the code. I, I like to, to modify the code myself. So I, you know, keep a copy of the code with me, right? So you can see here it has shown me an you know, error. It has got some error in the code and it's trying to fix the error again. And it is executing. So let's see. Okay, so it has given me also what an issue it had with the previous code and it's trying to do it again. The beauty of this is that it, it self corrects and it also shows the errors so you can quickly you know find out any errors that it has so without see can you, you can see without telling it anything it has solved this error and let's like take a look at the plots so you can see it has given really wonderful plots it has shown me i can download this it, it, it has shown me the gear distribution univariate analysis it, it has shown me the cylinder distribution again univariate analysis the same things we had done in excel very clear plots on the, on you know transmission then it has showed me a carburetor distribution very very clear again it has, it has got an error here as you can see it is trying to solve it again but it's read all on its own right so it has, it has already completed univariate analysis let me close this okay and now you can see it is doing the so you can see i've given it a a fairly complex uh, plot it would have been easy to give it a very simple prompt but then it would i, I would not be do, uh, doing justice to testing the potential and the limits of this tool i gave it a very a complex prompt and try to complete an entire data analysis project end to end with a single prompt. So you can see it has given me a, a beautiful histogram of the MPG distribution with a kernel density plot and a histogram. You can see it has given the displacement. Now it is doing univariate analysis of the numerical variables as we asked it. So step two, very very systematically again, all the uh, the kernel density I can see and all the histograms I can see, fantastic. Okay. Now it is plotting, now it is doing bivariate analysis. It is plotting MPG versus displacement we had seen, right? If you remember in the Excel one, as the displacement increases, the miles per gallon decreases. Very, very good. MPG versus horsepower. Again, we had done the linear relationship or the simple linear regression model and the multiple regression model with MPG versus displacement and horsepower. So you can see it is showing me the linear relationship. It has also done MPG versus height. Again, it has got uh, 
and an error in the code for the multivariate analysis but it has done fairly fairly well i would say rather excellent it has done uh, univariate analysis multivariate analysis multivariate an analysis of uh, categorical variables and of numerical uh, variables right so it has done you know fairly well it it has got some errors and it has solved the errors on its own the last part it could not uh, uh, do again for multivariate for i think multiple variables are asked but again i can uh, ask it for the question on this so let's click on a on a random question what insights can we gather from the scatter plot right so i have already done miles per gallon versus displacement and and miles per gallon versus horsepower here so let's see it is trying to create a correlation plot okay again it has got an error so it is trying to you know fix it automatically and the beauty part of this is that we, if we would have been coding this ourselves our errors we would have to fix ourselves it is fixing the errors for you and it is giving you the code which you can use again so all this code which i had here can you see for all these is all reusable for all these plots is all reusable i can download the the plots also myself and i can copy the code successfully which it has done so we can let's go right up to here and you can show this code and this entire code i can copy I can also copy this as a jupyter you know notebook and i add, and i do this where i copy this and i edit the code myself let's go back down here okay let's try that again Okay, this is not able to do that part as I, as I mentioned as 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 I kept it live as I don't want to edit anything and see how this tool is doing. So it is almost I would say it has completed the project up to seventy or or eighty percent. Let's see if we can ask it another question about the correlation matrix, which we had done again in uh, in Excel and let's see if it does this. So it has uh, as we can see it has done almost seventy percent of the project. Okay, and it has done fairly well on a fairly you know complex you know prompt. If I'd have given it a, a simple prompts you know line by line, I, I I could have done it very much, uh, you know, uh, you know, like easier, or you know, you know, like I, I could have made its life much more easy. But it has done fairly well. A nice correlation plot, and a nice correlation matrix. So I think it has done very well. I think it has almost solved eighty percent of the data analysis project. And you can keep on asking it more questions and do the end-to-end -end data analysis in the project for you. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you uh, did like the video, do not forget to leave a like and a comment on the video, and do not forget to subscribe to my channel for the latest of data analytics. in python and excel thank you